Hello, welcome to the Rise of Purple Phoenix, the Bicentive Empire Knight of Honor 2 campaign YouTube series. I am currently experimenting with this new style of video edit. If you find this style of gameplay highlight more enjoyable, feel free to click on the like button and leave a comment on your favorite moment of the video. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for more interesting content. Thank you. And I hope you like the video. Enjoy! Uh, during this period, the West, uh, the, uh, during this period, I think it's about 1200, there was a schism between the, the schism in the Christianity, Christianity religion, where the Western, the Western, Christ, Western paper state as well as the Orthodox Church, they separate into two different entities. So the Western Christianity, they, they formed their own thing called the Holy Roman Empire, but it was technically headed by the not Austria. There, there's a small county here, which which the the uh, emperor of Holy Roman Empire, and during his heyday, the Holy Roman Empire actually included the whole Germany as well as the Italian Italian peninsula. And and unfortunately, at that, that time they are the decentralized nation, which is why they are not that united. And hence, it was at this period, the time where the Byzantine as well. Byzantine lost a lot of lands to the Muslim invasion. And this was also a time where the reconquest era ends favorably towards the Christian nation at the Iberia continent. So only Granada is left on, on the Iberia kingdom. And yeah. Oh yeah, also about the, the Muslim Sicilian kingdom where they actually got kicked out of the Italian peninsula. And oh yeah, this is also the time where they go to the one of the remains rem rem of the Mo Mongol Empire, they actually break free. Basically, this period is the, one of the worst periods during the Western Civilization. There's a lot of war, also Black Death, as well as Plague, as well as Uprising. Every king struggled to consolidate their game. Let's bring back the Hellenic Hellenistic Age again. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can re 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 establish the, the Phoenician Empire, basically all the coastal, coastal land of the Mediterranean. So since this game is, is actually a, just a sandbox game, it's not has historical. So every round, every game is different. So I before starting the game, I need to check. Okay, so I have three state, one state, my captain state, and the Thessalonica and Thessalonica state. Okay, so let's start by seeing. Wait, actually I have three state. Oh, so where's the next state? One, two. Wait, where's the third one? Uh, you say I have three states, right? Constantinople, Constantinople, Thessalonic, this one Thessalonic, right? And how about Adrianople? Where the hell is Adrianople? Adrianople. One, two. Ah, let's do it by this one. Adrianople. Wait. Oh, interesting. I can't find him. Okay, never mind. I'll just, I will just go in game later. Okay, so now let's. Let's look at my ledger. Start from Athens. Uh, no, Athens belong to wait Sicily. Nah, nah, it does not belong to Sicily. Okay, and then my this game is not historical, but we'll just stay with it for now. Bavaria not here either. Oh, that's interesting. All right, I'll just try to check it from here. Oh, so there's two city on my capital province. Okay, okay, so I'm about to get it now. Okay, so let's check and see. So, Constantinople and Thessalonic, I can build. Okay, they are total settlement. But there's a fort here at Constantinople, meaning that I can build my military production building here. And yeah, so basically, Constantinople will be my military settlement. And yeah, so basically. Constantinople and Thessalonica will be my military settlement. 
as well as as well as housing housing building and coastal settlement oh so these two will be wait a minute it doesn't make any sense how are you a co coastal building okay you're not coastal building Constantinople is a coastal building okay yeah the Slanica is coastal building oh yes, yes okay so I have two coastal buildings so I need to put I uh, need to put trader at there and okay trading okay but right, agenda pool will be my hmm agenda pool okay so agenda pool will be my religious religious settlement where I'll be focusing on religious building here only and like maybe I can change agenda pool into 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 a farming state as well okay so let's start and see what do you have here oh oh wow it's quite bad okay 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 i got a very bad ing that's unfortunate okay i know that ottoman will attack me soon who's this oh this is my this is my emperor oh this is my 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 something like something like head of church from the orthodox and from, from the orthodox religion and my emperor is a diplomat oh so what does it give what buff does it give ah the buff it gives is actually quite bad so first thing first let's try to get a diplomat actually i should uh, okay so let's try let's I want this city to grow. I want Ejenopo to be my religious city. And let's get a uh, merchant. Okay, so you will be merchant. Okay, good. And I want you to trade with anyone you can get. Ah, Serbia. Ah, Serbia. Nah. Uh, it's possible I get a better trading partner. Let's check and see from here. So currently I'm good relationship with Serbia, but eventually Serbia will be destroyed by Hungary as well as well as the Austrian. Okay, so who can I get as my possible trade partner? Uh let me try Mamluks. Hmm, actually they are Yeah. Okay, so Mamluk will Mamluk AI actually is coded to go against the Western Empire. How about Naples? Uh, let me try France first, since I uh, need a strong. Uh, they are too far. How about Hungary? Yeah, they are quite near. Okay, let's try to trade with them. Oh, nice. Let's try. Let's trade with Hungary. And unfortunately, I don't get much gold, and it costs more gold. Okay, so I'll trade with Serbia for now. And let's try to improve subject. Let's try to improve relationship. Let's try to improve relationship, um, improve opinion inside my empire so that my peasant will not revolt. Uh, actually, I don't need to. But if I, I actually do not have much gold, so I have to be very careful with my decision. Okay, let's try to improve my realm first and make sure that all my all my population strata in my empire is is happy with my kingdom. Alright, so okay, I do not have enough enough religion, religious authority to increase my crown authority. So let's go back to the. Okay, this one here. Okay, so I know that this will be my church building, but right now main thing is money. Okay, so I need to make sure I need have a lot of money. Um. Hmm. One thousand. One thousand. Five hundred. Okay, one two, three. One two three, and then. Four, four will be barracks. Okay, so basically, okay, let's build. Let's build. Uh, wow, this is a capital hmm. Alright, let's build this one for now. Unfortunately, my king. Ah, uh, should I get another merchant? I do not have enough gold for that. Okay, let's get let's get a general. At Constantinople. Yeah. Mein Schwert gehört euch, Majestät. And prepare her defense because I know Ottoman has a lot of army, so I need to be very careful. And you here, my king is now governing Constantinople. So what buff do you give? And how about if I let my master guard, how 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 will he defend? Hmm. 
All right, so I think I'll just update, upgrade my general, uh, upgrade my king first. Um, 20 more influence. Negotiation. I don't think need, I need this one. Let's do this one first, since I'm not improving relationship with my people. And I say 100 more food. 100, 100 more books. I don't think I will spend anything. I don't spend anything. Okay, let's try to get... Uh, okay, let's check my royal family. Okay, I do have a wife. And how's my son? How's my son's day? Okay, my son, my first son is totally hopeless. He's a spy. How about my daughter? Ah, uh, yeah, hopeless as well. Second daughter is hopeless. Oh, second daughter is actually very good. Actually, second son is actually very good. Oh, so how about my... Okay, my daughter is actually quite good. My second son will be... Oh my god. I mean, it's fine having a spy, spy, spy character early on, even though there's, there eventually there will be a bug where at mid-game, at mid about, after about three hours in, where you will lose half the kingdom when your next king is a spy, which I don't know what's going on right now. Alright, so without further ado, let's... Alright, so I think, yeah, that's all I can do for now. So once my merchant reach here, then I should get a lot of money, and... Yeah, you are going this one, since this is my book, book province. And merchant opinion, okay, good. Okay, let's start the game. Let's go speed one, and there you go. Okay, so, uh, so I have to be very careful in my capital area. Once ultimate attack, I'm, so, I'm totally dead. Alright, let's go speed 4. Okay, so, uh, just a minute, let me check. My general, what do you have? I don't think I need to scratch. Uh, field tactics. Yeah. Field tactics is good early game since... Actually, the best step for... The best step is a uh, morale, morale one, but... I don't think the role is not good, so I think I'll get few few tactics once I get enough books. Uh, let's try to get as many gold as possible right now, so that I can build, so that I can expand my my capital region. Okay, nice. So now I'm creating gold, and how many gold am I earning from now? Ah, oh, just a minute. What do I have? Oh, so they're trying to trade with us. This is good. Uh, okay. So is this city now doing good? Okay, this city is now fully maximized. I'm earning a lot of gold from here. Then how about Ajanopo? Okay, Ajanopo is struggling, as usual. Oh yeah, I forget to check the population member. Okay. My religion is... Okay, my religion is orthodox. And population-wise, it's okay. Okay, I need to try to get back these two city, these three city, as soon as possible. And I know that Anatolia is helpless because the Ottoman is very powerful. Okay, let's back to the game. Wait, I have a vessel. Oh. Okay, okay, let's try to... Let's try to get... Go from you. Okay, they have no go. Okay, how about... Yeah, nice. Alright, so I have a wrestler. So at least my at least my wrestler will defend me when the Ottomans attack. Okay, let's continue with the game. Alright, let's go speed four. Okay, I have a fort here. Okay.